okay hi everyone i hope so you find my video helpful which tell you how you can download and install it that is the beginner tutorial for just lt spice okay, how you can be use this lt spice as a beginner so um that is uh, the main features are in this row uh, here you can be see you can be seen settings you can be change, uh, create a new file and you can be open the already existing file you can save it and you can print it and you can run run the files and that's the different options for the uh, this uh, kind of canvas you can be changes in canvases then you can zoom it zoom out and can be make it for some specific fit so in that way that canvas is used uh, you want that's the option and that is the option of the analysis when you analyzing it and that is the option of the components and choosing you can be choose the components wire that is the wiring option so you can be choose the component from here and that is the options of uh, duplicating the mode moving the modes and this kind of thing and then you can be rotated then you undo and redo and then you can search anything now we start with the simplest circuit in the circuit we just be create one volt uh, dc volt voltage with we use the one resistor and inductor and capacitor okay that is the rlc circuit okay i think so you can maybe understand and then we choose a wiring and now i wire everything here okay wait a second it's very simple okay now i just be quickly wire it Now after the wiring we just be change the component value like a DC value so I just will put the 5 volt here okay now resistance value uh, that is the resistance value I need to be put here so I just be say 100 uh, ohm resistor okay and that is the inductor value and I just be say uh, 1 milli henry inductor okay and capacitor <clears throat> we say that uh, that is the 100 um, 100 uh, pico capacitor and voltage rating rms and these kind of different parameters if you want some kind of specific capacitor then you can be choose it okay now that is the things on now we we'll just be click on this run button and we see the stop time so i just we say that 100 millisecond it's my stop time and i just want the transient analysis if you want ac analysis that is the option dc sweep noise dc transfer dc opt transmission frequency responses check so that is the different analysis options okay you can be choose according to your demand and that is the different uh, options so it's depend on your project and on your lab okay so i just be simplest doing the transient we just be telling the stop time and doing me uh, check the other options and then click on okay cannot find the dimension model of the r okay so i forget to replace the ground so that is the error that's way not um, able to be run it so i just replace the ground ground is like a reference okay so i just place it and now we run it and now you see this circuit is in the running condition that is the running condition of the circuit and uh, how can we analyze it so okay that is like the five uh okay five volt uh no that that's not like a five one um that's like helium pair okay that's mining the current okay so if you click on here if you click on the device like the component then they measure the current okay <laughs> if you click on the uh, on the node um, on the terminal point of any kind of uh, component then they measure the voltage and that's the 5 volt okay now we measure how much current is flowing in this r4 resistor and now we see for the r4 resistor our current is like uh, we say that it's again okay yeah our current is the 15 milliampere it's flowing in the resistor how much current is flowing in the inductor uh, it is the again i click on it it is the 5.0 k ampere kilo ampere and how much in there on the capacitor so on the capacitor it's showing us with the passage of the time our current is going to be stored you see this our current is going to be stored and how much current is stored it's 100 within the 100 millisecond 
that current uh, it is distorted and there's not terminal okay maybe that's a kind of something nonsense we don't be select the values that's why that's happening but this is showing okay in reverse traction our current is stored okay uh, now we choose something voltages okay that is the voltage on there no that's our unparalleled so voltage is same only the current are varying so that's why i just check the current so in that way you can be analyze the transit analysis this is any kind of analysis you can want but for this thing you need uh, the clear idea of your component values uh, the parameters on which you want to be test that component and also the connections so i just will show you something more interesting um, uh, it's like the uh, if you want to be component placement that is the component library so here you can be use it to be placing the components uh, adc that is like the uh, you have the analog devices okay you click on there then you go back and if you want some kind of operation amplifiers then these are the library for operation amplifier and that in that way you just choose it and place it um, and that is the component again i go and you you see this one brackets and three dots so just we click on it and you can be go behind okay that's main one so in the one we, if you want led so that's the like for led and i just be place the led here okay so and in that way you can be use it okay now we can be wired the led with our circuit and we observe if we place the led in parallel direction um, with this rlc circuits and what's happening um, that's just like the basic things mm, okay uh, which click okay so it's like a 3.5721 T ampere okay. okay something is nonsense is happening there because uh, we just be implementing the basics uh, how you can be use it okay so that's like the label of net if you want to be label something which is ground which is input which is output you can be use it okay uh, just for making your diagram more convenience and more understandable okay spice direction and then you can be delete the mode and you can duplicate the modes and you can be use it so duplication means like that okay i duplicate it okay so if i want to be deleted then just be click on it and that's component is only deleted and that's like the moving the component i just be click on it and now that is movable okay i move it from the circuit and that's undo okay in that way i can be undo and in that way i can be redo it so i hope so you find this uh, tutorial helpful that is a totally beginner tutorial and um, if you find this video interested please like this video and subscribe it and i hope so if you find my channel helpful please subscribe it share with your friend which want this kind of videos and don't forget to be comment any kind of appreciation if you want so see you in the next video